we never had to say, oh, you know, you got to go to practice, um, get your stuff ready. He was ready to go. Whether it was lacrosse or hockey or BMX or whatever, uh, he's very self-motivated. When he was uh, interested in something, he had this ability, this almost supernatural ability to focus and concentrate on what he, what he liked. Um, and if he wanted something, he was relentless. I had no idea it would end up growing this much, but he just really liked riding his bike. Morning. Hey, Tori. Thanks for the Snapchat from the game last night. Yeah, like it's that. kind of boring, eh? <laughs> oh, this is, you actually rode this into the side of the, the garage door and we're covered. Apparently I liked running into things. Because you, you weren't looking where you were going. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's changed. I train four to five times a week and depending on the day, but usually between two and five hours a day. Believe it or not, I'm actually really scared of heights. Really like box jumps. My max box jumps between 1.4 and 1.5 meters. I think my favorite body part to work out is like legs, like squats and that kind of thing. Because naturally, like most athletes, but especially cyclists and BMXers in general, have huge quads. And I think we're all kind of known for it too. This one on my back is good. Slid on the kind of gravelly dirt and it just like sandpaper just rubs the skin completely off. I think BMXers, we have like a abnormally high pain tolerance. Do we want to get back out there? So, yeah, we want to get back out there so fast. I'm not proud that I've had injuries, but I'm proud that I've gone for it and sometimes it hasn't worked out and I've been able to bounce back and, and come through. And I think that's what I'm most proud of is the obstacles I've had to overcome. He had talent since he was, I don't know, I think since he got on a bike pretty much. I grew up playing sports with him, so I kind of, I kind of know how he is in that like game day kind of situation. <laughs> Sometimes when he, he gets into it, he gets a little excited because he just gets excited about everything. And then at the end of the night, sometimes I kind of have to maybe sometimes put him to bed. And yeah, Tori usually goes to bed alone. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Canada? It's Tori Nyhog. I hope you liked the video. If you'd like to see more of this kind of stuff, check out our playlist here. <laughs>